All right. This video is going to be about uh, changing a little LED light in your power window switch, which would be on the driver's side. These switches are actually for a, uh, these are the, the driver's side switches for a 95 Celica GT. Most Toyotas are, gonna, are they will be a lot like these. Um, and you can follow the same video for doing other manufacturers, like other cars. But I can't guarantee that those would be as straightforward as, as this is to take apart. Some of these I've taken apart and they're pretty, pretty complex. Um, I'll just leave it at that. You can try to take them apart if you want to, but just expect to have a hard time putting them back together. These are pretty easy to put back together. Um, there's just two clips on this side. So there were two screws on this side and then one screw on this side. And then there's a clip there and a clip there. You can use something like a razor blade to stick in between the in between this and this, like on the side of that clip, pry it back a little bit, slip one side out, pry the other side out a little bit, and then slip it out, it comes out. Um, these, they had this little button here, for the window lock, that was holding it from, after I unscrewed these screws on the bottom, took that off, and then unscrewed these screws so that now it's not holding onto the plastic anymore. Underneath, it was still holding, which was it was being held by this little power window switch button. So that's for the child protection thing. Anyway, so when that comes out, this slides out easy. And then you're at the LED. Um, I will be doing some soldering here, and it's it's a good idea to do use a um, to use a new LED. You go to Radio Shack, or you can I, I have trouble finding individual ones online. They usually try to sell them by the like by 50, but still, I mean, you buy 50, it's five bucks for uh, for that many. But this is a three millimeter LED, I believe. I believe it's a three millimeter LED. Uh, and I have this little hard drive here, little uh, old IDE hard drive um, caddy. That it actually has a blue LED in it that I'm gonna rob out of this. So. You can, uh, you don't have to rob an old LED out, um, but when you, if you do, look at the, uh, if you want to mark which one's positive and which one's negative um, on the old LED, you can look at this, or you can look inside, like if you can see through the LED, this green one on the power window switches, I can't actually see through it, so I'm going to have to look at this little diagram, little diode diagram that is there which, um, yeah, I actually can't remember which side, which side's positive and which side's negative for the, uh, uh, looking at that diagram, but anyway, we're not going to worry about that right now, I'll, I'll pause the video whenever I do the soldering and look at that, <coughs> and then I will say it later in this video, but basically, yeah, so I mean, if you're going to rub the LED off of something, look at it. Like this one's actually marked positive and negative, but if it's not, and you can look inside the LED, if it's clear, the uh, the side that looks like an eye is the anode side, um, and that side is the positive. The cathode side is the other side, and it looks like a little bowl. So the the side with the, basically, if you can see inside of it, the side with the bowl looks like the negative side. It, the side with the bowl is the negative side, and the side that just looks like a straight line with maybe a tiny little. Um, tiny little thing hanging off the side. It just looks like a little a little letter I. Um, it's like a little stick. That's the that's the positive side. So like I said, I'm using this one. I would advise you to use a new one and not do what I'm doing and use a, a used one because it, it is more difficult. Uh, I have shorter legs to work with. Um, and these are actually longer ones that you would see, longer ones than you would see. But anyway, this is blue. I'm gonna rob this one, solder it onto here. Um, you would have to take some care with soldering because this is directly above plastic. I'm going to bend this up a little bit, but you need to make a note before you cut this and before you do whatever you're going to do. Um, make a note as far as like a mental note, or if you want to measure it, I guess, like how far this light is, um, that it sticks up to where, so when you put these, when you put the, uh, the switches back together, you don't want the light to hit. You don't want it to push on something or not be able to close right, or if you if you do manage to get it closed, it bends the LED so it's pointing off to the 
you know, to another direction. You don't want that. But anyway, um, buy a new LED. You can get them at Radio Shack for pretty cheap. Um, I don't buy them at Radio Shack just because, I mean, you pay a dollar fifty or whatever for one LED versus buying a box of 50 um, for like five bucks, seven bucks online. So I would rather do that. In this case, I'm, I don't need 50, I don't need 49 extra LEDs. And yeah, but anyway, <laughs> I'm rambling. I'm going to pause the video and start soldering and then I'll turn it back on. But this pretty straightforward. So just uh, yeah, get an LED. Make sure you solder on the right sides to, to the right sides. If you get it backwards and it doesn't work, it's not that big of a deal. Um, if, you, if you're not sure which way you're doing it, just wire it in any way. It doesn't matter. It's just not going to work. You're just going to double the amount of work uh, by taking it apart again, cutting the LED off, switching the legs around, and then uh, soldering it back together. And then so if it's backwards, it's not like it's going to blow the LED. I've never seen one blow wiring it backwards. It just doesn't work. Um, you just flip it around and then, you know, Hey, it works the second time you try it. So 50%, you got a 50% chance you're going to do it wrong the first time if you're not even paying attention. So, uh, let me solder this and I'll start the video back. Okay. So I finished soldering this together. Okay. Okay. I finished soldering this together and, uh, see it's clear. It's a clear LED but it is blue. It does shine blue. And you can test them if you have like a little watch battery like this. So this is actually a computer, um, the battery that holds the, the settings in a computer when it's off. But if you want to test it, test the LEDC like this is backwards. So this doesn't work. Flip it around. Here, nice little bright light. Um, this is a blue one. So if you get an LED that's like this, if you pull it out, this is from something else that had a blue LED in it that I pulled out, but if you pull it out, you see three legs on it. LEDs always have two legs. Well, this one has, this one actually has two colors inside of it. Um, so it has one negative and, or wait, it has one positive and two negative, I think. Anyway, uh, yeah, so that's that. But I'm just going to put this back together and... Going through this in the car. Oh, I was going to say. So, I was talking about this little diagram earlier in the video. This is the positive side with the little triangle, the triangle half of the diagram. And this is the negative side with the, with the minus. It's uh, diodes are, they can only go one direction. Um, so, your LED is a light emitting diode. So, there's diodes that don't emit light. And then this is just an LED. LED is light emitting diode. Um, yeah, so it only flows it only flows electricity one direction. So they're useful in that sense. Um, if you need something that has a light and only flows in one direction. But anyway, I'm going to go throw this on. I'm going to make sure this is straight and lined up. Snap it back together, and then I'm going to go test it out. And uh, let's see, I'm pretty sure I covered everything. Um, you want to be careful when soldering. You don't want to melt the plastic. When you put it back together, actually, you want to make sure these little pins don't break off. Um, you, yeah, you don't want that to happen. So, so, if so, you have to get another little circuit board, and you'll have to do this all over again if you want a blue LED. But uh, that's it for this right now. I'm going to finish this video in the uh, in the car, showing the blue the blue LED. Okay. So I'm just going to turn the key right now, and uh, let's see. you can see the light is blue. I know from my phone screen it actually kind of looks like it has a little bit of a green tint to it, but the, the light is clearly blue, like I'm looking at it and it's clearly blue. You can do the same thing with um, red LED, yellow LED, white LED, whatever you want. doesn't have to be. Um, three, well, uh, electronically it doesn't have to be three millimeter. It can be any, it can be any size as long as it's not, you know, like, <laughs> I don't know, ridiculously huge. But, so that it can fit in a little groove that's provided for this, it's got to be, uh, 
it's got to be three millimeters. So, um, what else should I say? Oh, LEDs work at three volts. If you want to test it, test it with something that's three volts. If you try to put it on a one and a half volt battery, it might barely show. Um, but yeah, it's it's not gonna um, it's not gonna work. But well, it might, it might barely come on. It depends on what the charge is on the one and a half battery. You put it on a nine volt battery, it's gonna blow it. So test it with a three volt battery, and then that way you can actually find out what the positive side and what the negative side is. If you didn't pay attention earlier in the video, it's when I was saying. Um, but yeah, so you can do it whatever color LED you want, as long as it's three millimeters, so it sits inside the thing. I'm recapping right now. You let's see. What else should I say? Um, if it doesn't work the first time, you have to take the switches back out, flip the LED over, and then check it. And then it should work. Uh, yeah. That is it. All in all, this took me about an hour. Even with making the video and taking apart the switches, pulling these out of the car. Okay, so probably an hour and a half. Pulling these out of the car. Um... What else? What else did I do? And taking apart my little hard drive case so that I can pull out the LED, which uh, it still it still works even without the LED in it. So I mean, whatever you pull the LED out of, it doesn't destroy as long as you don't destroy whatever circuit board you pull it out of. So pull it out with care. Uh, yeah, use some little snips, little fingernail, fingernail clippers even work um, as long as your wife doesn't get upset with you. But anyway, so that's it. Um, check out my other videos. Rate and subscribe if you want. Or I guess you can't really rate. Subscribe and like if you want. Um, so thanks for watching. And yeah. Uh, sorry if I heh, randomly babbled. Uh, yeah. So anyway, thanks.